What is going on guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. Today we have an unboxing to do. Um, I'm not quite sure where it's from. I actually forgot to check. Okay, so this package comes from Lealbox.com. Um, it's a company that's fulfilled by Amazon, hence the Amazon packaging. Um, and I think they must have just started up a store because I went on their, their actual website and they don't have many products right now, but they asked me if they could send me uh, a puzzle and I obviously said yes because I am cheap. No, I said yes because the puzzle looks really awesome and they also said they were sending me um, a phone holder to put in your car and I told them that I don't have a car but it seems like they sent it to me anyway. Um, so I have this this car holder phone thing and I guess we'll, we'll just look at that really quickly because they sent it to me anyway. What the? But yeah, basically I guess you just, you clip this onto your dashboard like, like that. Okay, what? So you clip it onto your dashboard with this little guy, and then I guess you just pop your phone in like like that. I mean that's that's pretty cool, right? I guess. Um, yeah, cool. Um, I don't know what to do with this because I don't have a car. But anyway, onto the actual puzzle itself. This is this is the guy. It's called Magic Cube. Um, and I think it's kind of like a cross between a puzzle and like a fidget cube. The kind of, um, a lot of things have been coming out now like the fidget spinners, the fidget cube, these like fidget toys that you just kind of mess about with in your hands. I actually really enjoy them. Um, so I think this is kind of like that, but it's also a, a puzzle at the same time. I'm not entirely sure though, so we're going to get it open and see what it's about. Okay, so let's just, let's just crack this guy open. Um, and just see what's inside because I'm not entirely sure how this works. Okay, so obviously we have two different parts here. Uh, we have this kind of cubic piece, I guess. Um, what is this even made of? I mean, it feels like plastic, but it's quite quite thin. And oh wow, cool, cool. So it looks like a two by two. And then it obviously opens up into this kind of star spiral kind of thing. Oh wow, okay. So it becomes a star somehow. Okay, awesome. And then I guess I assume this does the same um, because we just had a star, so surely this opens up a different way. Like this. Then you kind of open it like that. Oh. Okay, so maybe you've got like a scrambled 2x2 two two and then a normal 2x2? Two two? Um, something like that. So in terms of this actually being a puzzle, I don't, I don't think this is something that needs to be solved. I think it is literally just something you kind of play around with. Um, and then obviously you can have these kind of different patterns. So we have this one which appears to have different faces. Uh, so obviously you have blue, white, yellow, orange, uh, and then this one which has its own individual colours for every kind of spike you have. And it says on the side of the box that this is a... This is a stellated rhombic dodecahedron. Cool. Okay, so it says on the box I can pop this guy in here somehow. Um, this is the real Can Chris solve. Can Chris fit a star into a box? Probably not. Do you have to open it like this? Oh, oh, there we, that's cool. Okay, and it just about closes. That's pretty neat. Um, and then it looks just like a two by two. It's quite compact. And then obviously you can open it up and out pops another star, cool. And then I guess you just kind of play with, with it. Wow, that was really, really satisfying. <laughs> I don't know, I was just kind of playing with it and it just kind of went round into a different pattern. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> I don't quite know how it's happening. Uh, I think there must be some pieces that are connected and others that are not. And just the way that it works, it kind of can spin around, but that's really nice to just kind of mess about with. Um, and then obviously on the, the kind of single colored ones, you get a scrambled two by two design. Um, Wow, this is just, this is just cool. Um, 
I mean, the stickers are not perfect, especially not on this one. I might actually remove them and, and replace them. Um, and in terms of quality, this isn't the best quality thing I've ever held. The plastic feels a little bit cheap. Um, it, it doesn't feel great, I must admit, but at the same time, this is really quite satisfying and I'm kind of enjoying just playing with this. That's really, really neat, actually. Um, if you are interested in buying this, you can buy it off Leo Box. Um, like I said, I think they, they send their products through Amazon, so it comes really fast, especially if you are a Prime member. And you can buy it for $18.55, uh, and that's Canadian dollars, I believe. And yeah, I'll have a link to that in the description. And also, oddly, um, a link to a link to the, the car holder that I kind of was not expecting, but received anyway. Uh, if you need a holder for your phone, yeah, go check it out on Leelbox because everybody needs to look at their phone as they drive. Whoop whoop. And I'm gonna close off this video right now and you can you can watch me do these crazy things. Yeah. Um, all right, well that's it for this video guys. Uh, kind of a weird unboxing actually. I don't really know what to say about this other than that it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out in the description if you want to have a look at this cool puzzle. Um, if not, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway, and I will see you guys around this weekend for another video. Have a great day.